Hi guys, welcome back to another video thanks to this comment. And he also gave me this question, also from the 2016 JEE advanced paper. But this one is question 38. And this question looks very scary, to be honest. But it's not that bad. Well, let's observe. Look at the angle in the two signs. What is the difference between the two angles? The first angle, pi over 4, pi over 4, the same. But here, it's k minus 1 times pi over 6. And, this, and the second one is k times pi over 6. But they only differ by pi over 6. So if we name this angle to be alpha and this angle to be beta, then we obviously know that beta minus alpha will equal to pi over 6. Right? And what we're trying to figure out is what sine alpha times sine beta is. Well, what formula connects these two things? You guys might be thinking, what about cosine of beta minus alpha? Well, that does include this and this, but think about it. You will need two of them. One of them will be indeed cosine beta minus alpha, but the other one will be cosine beta plus alpha, which kind of overcomplicates things. So what else? Well, I'm just going to tell you guys, the other thing could be cotangent of alpha minus cotangent of beta. Cosine over sine. And then minus cosine beta over sine beta. Now we can make a common denominator, which will be multiply the two up. So it's just sine alpha, sine beta. And top will be this times that, which is cosine alpha sine of beta, minus this times that. So it's cosine beta sine alpha. This is equal to, look at the top. This is an expansion of some sort, right? Well, this is actually sine of beta minus alpha. So the bottom being sine alpha sine beta and the top is just sine of beta minus alpha now look we have beta minus alpha and we have sine alpha sine beta but what we're actually looking for is just the reciprocal of sine alpha times sine beta right and we actually do have that so cotangent alpha minus cotangent beta equals to this right so we know that one over sine alpha sine beta will equal to cotangent alpha minus cotangent beta over sine beta minus alpha so it's just the top being cotangent alpha minus cotangent beta and the bottom being sine of pi over six and this is equal to do this in your head sine of pi over six is one over two you can put the two at the top so it's just two times cotangent alpha minus cotangent beta. Now, from here, we have basically already solved the question. Now it's just a matter of computations. Well, the sum becomes, the sum is k equals to 1 to 13 of, this is just 2 times cotangent alpha minus cotangent beta. Now, we can also put the 2 at the front. And then it's just cotangent alpha minus cotangent beta. Now, why don't we just expand the sum? So it's equal to 2 times cotangent alpha, when k is equal to 1, is cotangent of pi over 4 plus 0. So it's just cotangent of pi over 4. minus cotangent of beta when k is equal to 1. So it is pi over 4 plus pi over 6, which is 5 over 12 pi.
and then you add it with cotangent of. When k is equal to two, it's pi over four plus pi over six, which is five over twelve pi. And then minus cotangent of when k is equal to two, it's pi over four plus one over three pi, which is seven over twelve pi. And then you add it with all the way to when k is equal to 13, it is cotangent and then subtract it with cotangent of, you plug in 13 there, so it's just pi over 4 plus 13 over 6 pi. Don't forget the last bracket. And this is equal to 2 times, guess what? Cancel, 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 cancel all the way to here. So the 2 times left is the first and the last. So we have cotangent of pi over 4 minus cotangent of pi over 4 plus 13 over 6 pi. Now, we will figure this out first. So this is simply just 1. And for this, we have a simple angle sum identity for cotangent. And I'm just going to tell you the answer. It is 2 minus square root of 3. So these are all of the ingredients that we need to plug all of this in. So it's equal to 2 times 1 minus this. So it's 1 minus 2 plus square root of 3 now. And this is equal to 2 times square root of 3 minus 1. So this is the final answer of the 2016 JEE advanced paper for question 38. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed my video, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.